Hello everyone, Pro here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Now, this episode, I got to thinking, it's time for a little bit of a change. Now, I kind of try to organize my equipment a little bit, so that way they're not like screwed about like they were. Um, and the stuff that I have over there, I'm actually going to get rid of and pretty much move over here because I think this is like where my normal base of operations are going to have to be. Um, flour, or the bread factory, I'm just going to leave it, let it do its thing, let it use up the flour. I'm going to sell the grain mill for now. And I'm going to empty out the manure uh, once it's empty. Or I'm going to empty out the manure, wait till all the straw turns in the manure, and then move it. Well, sell it. Thinking about just like moving all the productions over there. If that makes sense. And then the silos and whatnot. I'll bring one over here. And I know like last episode I was sitting here saying, Oh, I don't mind carting it way over there or whatever. But I got to thinking, my equipment will sit over here. So, I think it would be nice to get some of those awnings over here. Not only that, I want to get cows today. I want to figure out exactly how the little pasture works down there. And also, let me uh, turn up my speed just a tad bit. Double check on the sheep. They are uh, we in here. They're doing fine still. But like I said, I don't see anything that has to do with water, even though they have like water troughs right there. I don't think I have to worry about it. I found out that this is a little bunker silo. Well, not little. I mean, it's pretty dang big. I don't know why I didn't get like a little thing. Oh, both of these are? Is that how this is set up? So that just splits off both of them? Oh, that's a bigger one. This is a smaller one. Is that something I can get rid of? Uh, I don't want to do that because I don't know what all the decorations are. Which actually, I think, part of this awning setup. And I don't think these silos do anything. But yeah, an extra 50 grand wouldn't be that bad. And yes, you're probably thinking, I was like, well, you don't want to get any cows until you get, you know, whatever food producing and get, you know, getting ready for them. Well, I can still have them, but still get ready for them. Let me just uh, turn that down. <laughs> so. My game plan is now, is uh, I'll use this guy. I want to go to the uh, buy anything mod pretty much and just put TMR in the trailer. And I don't know exactly how. Uh, I'll put some in here real quick and then I'll figure out how much I need. Oops. Um, there we go. Wait, what? Why am I only getting... I have so I've had soybeans in this before. Hello? What in the world's going on? Where did I see you to mine? Did I buy the wrong one? Is that the, not the buy anything thing? Thing to the thing thing? That goof? I guess that, well, I never really used it for anything else. I might have gotten the wrong thing. I think that's the one I needed. Oops. <laughs> well, that explains uh, why I couldn't get TMR out of it. <laughs> or anything wouldn't work with the mixer trailer. <laughs> well, well, that's fine. Uh, I'll have put you over here anyway. I guess I'll just wait on that until I get my farm to kind of where I want it to be. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know I screwed up. <laughs> Alright. Um, that's a thing. <laughs> Not a big deal. I'll bring this truck over. Actually, yeah, I probably shouldn't have. It might be the way. But it's fine. Everything's been in the way recently, so I can deal with it. Alright, decoration, uh, building sheds. We have this. 
pull through, but I want like a more open one, like this one here. So that way I can just pretty much pull them in there and pull them out, all that fun stuff. And I can just kind of line them up in a row in that direction is what I'm thinking. Um, $35,000 too. Could probably invest in one of those, but those are huge and expensive. Well, not as much huge as, huge as it is expensive. Where's... Do we have, like, any, like, gigantic ones? They're relatively priced. You know what? It says hay shed, but I'm going to use it as shelter anyway, so... I'm going to use this. And I'm going to get rid of... The grain mill. Loud, 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 loud. Come on, come on, come on, sell. Yes. Okay. Should have been enough room for at least one of those sheds. Let's uh, move it there. Do this so it doesn't change my terrain. Screw it up. And boop. Nice. And it doesn't have lights on anything, does it? That's okay. I've actually been thinking about putting down some of those floodlights again. So, it'll be just fine. Alright. Let's get some of these underneath. That plow is not going to fit. But I'll probably find a way to put it under something. Or just leave it out in the open. I really don't care. I'll probably put it in the grass. Kind of where that uh, container is. So, it's, it's fine. I picked up my Kubota thing. That's normally what's on this tractor. And while I'm doing this, I could have my other tractor go. So in last episode, I wasn't sure what I wanted to plant in these fields. So I am doing wheat on this one. I forgot to do my fertilization thing before the lime. So I'm going to have to come back after it's planted to do more fertilization, which is fine. And this one I did soybeans. Is can get decent money out of those. And I don't know why this is. I really don't. I'll just ignore it. As long as it doesn't mess with anything, I really don't care. Um, let me get this guy going. I'm also thinking about changing up the planter. Or the cedar, rather. Now, really, the only reason why I got this one is because of the bigger capacity and I didn't have to fill it up as much. But some of the other ones are a little bit easier to use. A little bit more user-friendly, I guess. Right, you're undercover. Um, might have to make, like, a special cover for Harvester and Header. We'll see. Now. I mean, let's be honest, we're not even undercover to begin with, so I'll just put it under for now, and then if I want to designate certain storage areas for certain machines, I will do that in the future. And I parked my truck right in the way. Sweet. Can this guy even fit? And yes, it can. Nice. I'm going to hit the header, though. Oof. No. Stop it. You don't see anything. It's fine. Move out of the way. And I don't, I don't think it's a hundred percent. Nice, that was cool. <laughs> I don't think it was a hundred percent of the truck's fault, but it's still in the way. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's good. Let's go with that for now. And the plow. Eventually, I'll move it here in a sec. I'm going to place another one of these buildings down. I don't think I need to go too far. Over here. Grab the beefy tractor with uh, a little bit of it, the cheaty trailer. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get another one of those awnings. Or building. Or hay storage is what... I guess that makes sense on why my hay hasn't been degrading if that's a thing. <laughs> Da, 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 da. What are you talking about? My plow was sitting there the whole time. 
Oh, I at least crack myself up, okay? And... Oh, that looks like almost perfect. That'd be really good. I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, where's... Get the maneuver guy in there. I'm actually gonna fill him up so that way it's less maneuver in there. I'm gonna park it underneath as well. In a little bit. Jumping is hilarious, but hey. We got a lot of stuff around. It's to be expected, I suppose. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here. That was a little bit of a jump. Squeeze on in. Oh, I need to fix the train a little bit. Back on up. And nice. Um, I guess what I could do get a little bit more money selling these guys over here. Oh, the hay. Uh, I want to keep the hay one there for now. Means I got to get rid of that. I just barely put that there. I got to empty the silo still. I don't need this. Um, at least for right now, I didn't need it. You know, I, it's the wrong one I placed, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna have to go through here and uh, retrain everything. But for now, that's just where the builds are gonna be. Um, I still have in here and I still have grain in there still and then I have that sell everything one which we'll have to move eventually okay, get this truck and move it out of the way I might actually just place another one of those buildings down just cuz move it on in sweet how is that guy doing Nice. Two more passes. Then I gotta go fertilize it again. Yay. <laughs> so, buildings. Uh, go and do another one. Can I do it just as good, if not better? And boom. It looks like it's up just a tad bit more. Hey, it's looking like one big old shed, so... Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I like it. Now, you may not be able to place them that close, because I have, like, a place anywhere mod thing. Uh, allows me to place objects, like, interlocking with each other if I wanted to. So, say if I, uh... Take this building, I can quite literally put it on top if I wanted to. But I'm not going to do that. Is that's a waste of time and money and then I have to fix everything and I haven't set my game, which I probably should. Let's plow the time for the time being. Let's uh, just uh actually you know what? I'll just put you at the end right here. Use a fit like this sideways. Sideways, and then if need be, I just back in, and pick it up at the tractor. So it's perfect. And it'll work just fine. Whoops, it's always a habit. And I don't know why. Hey, so those are down. Bread factory, like I said, I'm gonna leave it there for now because it's still producing some bread. It has some flour in it. Um, cows. And hop into this truck. And eventually I'll come here and uh, reform all that a little bit. Get it ready for some factories. Look both ways before going across the street, even though I don't think there's no traffic on this map, but you never know. Someone might get me by surprise. The sheep pin may move now that I think of it. But we'll see. Birch. Okay, so let's go over here. Um... I want to do it would be these ones here because they're fully mature. Ooh, 60? I don't think so. Let's do. Oh, um, I'm actually going to zero out my time so that way 
These cows aren't going to need food for a little bit. Oh, and they need water, so which means I'm going to get a water tanker. Uh, 15 cows for 20 grand. I think that's a... Well, I want to start with that. Because, you know, it's good to start small. So, if I come over here... New livestock, yay. <laughs> so, like I was saying, I think there's like three pins put in one? Yeah, see, look. Zero out of 200. Then if I super sprint back over here... 15 out of 200. So, it is technically three in one, but yet the cows can just roam around wherever. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go over here in the middle now. I'm gonna do 15 of the brown ones. I don't think I need any bulls, so don't worry about the bulls. Um, sweet. And then over here, I'm gonna mix it. So I'm gonna do eight of you. And then eight of you. Just cause I can. So I just gotta remember. I got three different areas I gotta feel. Hey cow, how are ya? Good to see ya. We'll move right back at ya. <laughs> and that was nice is I should be able to start getting slurry. And come get slurry, and then I can start fertilizing with slurry, cause last episode. I said I found out that you can do like a double state of fertilizer or a flurry. Or a flurry? Yeah, they make flurry. No, the slurry. God, I can't speak today. <laughs> I mean, it is a little bit early, but it's all good. I do need a, a silo for the buy stuff. You know what? Speaking of which, let's go. I also was saying that there's an underground one I'm going to use. That I would like to use that I am going to use. Because, holy capacity, man. That, that thing's insane. Where are you? You're like, way at the end, aren't you? I'm sorry if you can hear my clicking. But you're a little excessive. Right here. Underground storage. 500,000 liters. Oh, that's cute. I'm gonna go for this one. 500 million liters, and it can do liquids. <laughs> and it's so small and compact. Alright, let's turn you... Come on. I think that's pretty much straight. So, I'll put you there. That works. 100 grand. Bit steep, but it does hold a lot, so it's okay. No containers. Oh, the one thing I wanted to begin with. And I think it'll be okay right here in this corner. So it's kind of out of the way. Um, what else can I place down? Huh. Oh, I could do a bell storage. That would be an idea. 2.5 million liter bell storage. Hmm. I'll actually have to think about that one. So yeah, there we go. I got a bigger silo. I got the, uh, <laughs> the mod that I needed. To begin with. And yeah, I know you're empty. Nice. Do I have wheat in my... I do. In December is the month to sell it. I have quite a bit of soybeans. Depending if I need money, I might just sell them, but I'll wait. Uh, I'm gonna hop into... Oh, you know what? I want to invest into something. I like this truck and everything, but maybe for like delivering stuff. Oh, I can move my mower over there now. Uh, might put get like a little car cover for this too. Uh, what was I gonna do now? I got sidetracked. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Whoops. Boom. No. What was it? Just boom, boom. There it goes. I'm gonna reset that so nothing gets transported. Because I have a way I'm going to try to skip the delivery fee. And I want one of these little guys. I want to say little, but... Something to just cruise around the farm with. 
40 miles an hour on this one? It's actually pretty quick. But I can kind of dig in this one, though. Oh, and you can make it a two-seater. Holds a thousand. This one only holds 430. Let's go with this one. Let's get three points. I guess only with that capacity. I actually just want to do a thousand, because you never know. I can use it to, to deliver some stuff. Um, I don't think the winch is really necessary, but I'll do the front protector. License plate, of course. Wait, why is it not typing? Hey! There it goes. Not Project T. Project G. There we go. Uh, plate, back only, color, boom, boom. And bye. Now, if I were to do this, go to the map, um, it's, right, it's right there, reset, and guess what? No delivery fee. <laughs> oh, did I put my, I did have my drink mod on still. Yeah. And like I said, well, actually, that truck kind of matches on that with the Kubota. <laughs> but, uh, I figured this would be a fun thing to ride around on the farm with. I mean, yeah, slower than the other one. Uh, kind of regretting not getting the other one. Okay, so I may have not have uh, this group and traded in for this one. <laughs> but just with such a big farm, I think going faster, obviously, would be the better idea. And then use the other one on like, smaller farms. And how are my sheep doing over here? 800, 8,250. Okay, so... I actually need to get in the one tractor with that trailer, with the GD trailer, so I can transfer everything. But also, I need to uh, get my cows TMR and water. Uh, I don't have a water tanker. I know there is one you can get for that truck, though. Um, I think it might be an excuse to get the little tractor. Because I've been saying I've been wanting to have a little tractor. Do we go with a Kubota one? Do they have a small Kubota? They do. 141 horsepower. 106 horsepower. Uh, I like this one because it's kind of... You know, looks like it would be more of a transporter slash farm one. I don't know what I'm saying. I do like the looks of this one. I think I'll go with this one. Because why not? Front weight. Um, I'll leave it like that because you never know. I might actually need an attachment for it. Front loader. Oh, I, I can actually come in handy. 105,000 for a new Kubota. Hmm. How much is a tanker going to cost me? Well, I could get a tanker for the semi truck. At 32,000 liters, and I think it'd be just fine. Here's some of these other ones that are a little bit cheaper. Okay, so I don't know why it took me so long to that in a trailer, but this is the one I'm going to go with. The MTU 60, 60,000 liters, 40 grand. Hey, okay. doesn't seem like that bad of a buy to me. And I think I know the perfect truck to use for that trailer as well. And I may have totally forgot about this guy. But hey, they're done. So that's nice. Why were you way over there, though? That's the question. Look at that. It's like a glove. I did kind of hit the wall a little bit there, but we'll just pretend that didn't happen. Oh, um, now where is... There you are. Oh, what am I doing? I could just die. Uh... Oh, you know what? Let's just go for a drive. It's been a little bit. I was going to re do my little shop thing or reset it for over here, but... Nah, let's go for a little drive this time. Hopefully this truck can handle that trailer when it's full. I'm not saying I'm going to fill it all the way. But if the time comes and I have to, 
I'm just hoping this truck will be up to the task, because water's not exactly light. You know, it's kind of weird. When I'm in the cab view, it seems like I'm going slower than when I'm in third person. Huh. Sorry, random thing. Moving on. <laughs> Here we are, pulling up through the shop. And there it is back up to a long third person or first person sorry back on up to it bring her out a little bit anybody see anything on that side oh this way nice that was a whoops hit the wrong button there we go i think it'll work okay And it doesn't seem like the front moves at all. Real quick, do a quick test. Save its full. I mean, technically it is doing it. Not too bad. Um, yeah, it's going to empty it. So, where to get water now? Okay, so how much will it be to get water from the silo? If I can learn how to pull in here. Uh, water. I mean, it's not too bad, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's go over here. Oh, wait, can I get water from that hydrant right there? Is that a thing? I know there's a hydrant mod. There's probably cow decoration. Okay, well. Double point and dandy. Pull on in here. I'm not getting the trigger for the water. Wait, do I have to go in there? How do I give them water? The water trough is right here. How do I offload the water? There we go. I was getting worried there for a second. Right, yeah, you got water going in. How much water are you guys going to take? For much all that I put into it. Okay, so you guys need at least 25,000 to 30,000 liters of water. Well, that's good to know. And I think with that all said and done, I think it is time to end the episode off here. I hope everybody enjoyed. Ooh, you're loud. Big ol' moo moo, man. Okay. But yeah, farm transformation underway. Uh, next episode, we'll uh, transfer everything, sell some stuff if we don't need it, like the wheat that's in there, because I don't need that wheat right now, because I don't have any chickens. And uh, we'll finish feeding up the cows, and I'll have to get... Uh, Another piece of equipment to uh, distribute the straw. Unless I can pick up the bells and put them here. Not sure. We'll find that out next time. But like I said, hope everybody enjoyed. And I'll talk to you all later.